everybody welcome we are doing another tutorial this morning and I wanted to clue you guys in on what to do if you open up the Dropbox file for Sunday morning and you have pictures or slides for instance I have two slides here and four pictures um, so just to recap how I got here <clears throat> on Sunday morning when you're loading scriptures you're going to go to Dropbox. You're going to click on both. The, you're going to load both the English and Spanish um, notes. But today, to access the English notes, I'm going to show you this simply. Click on Message Notes English, then follow the green dots. So green, and then well, this is a red dot. So sue me, red dot. In fact, you know what? Let me just make it green. Let me make it green. Move the red dot. There we go. Click on the green dot. And then we're looking at date modified and we're looking at today because that shows when Pastor Jody loaded the latest notes. But I also have to know that today we're talking about Romans. So double click on that. Here's our images. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over to File and then New Finder Window. And that's going to bring up another window like this. Now we're going to go to Sunday Service Media, English Media. Updated weekly media. Notice a trend following the red dot here. Q3, and then you're going to find the Sunday dates that Sunday that you're working in, which is uh, for today it's 9, 12, 21. Double click that. Now we're cooking. I'm just going to I'm going to click. I'm just going to make me a new. I'm going to make me a new folder by right clicking, selecting new folder, and load these. Oh, I can spell these for message. Okay. That would just help me immensely. So I can keep track of what I need to load that I haven't already loaded. So I'm going to double click on that folder, drag everything in there. It's going to ask me if I want to move them out of Dropbox. And I say move out of Dropbox. Click slide one and two here, drag them in there, move out of Dropbox, and then I can just delete that folder. Now I'm going to come back to this because I need to uh, load my notes. So I can actually double click on that and it will bring up the PDF of Pastor Jody's notes. Um, he includes a doc and a PDF. Um, I recommend using the PDF. Okay, so now I have uh, the images he wants to show in the message in the correct folder. Now I just need to move them into Dropbox. It's going to be pretty simple. I'm just going to click back into Dropbox here. I'm going to expand this up. You can see my mouse changes to a little expander icon. And now, um, if this bin, it's called the media bin, if this is not open, you can open it by hit, by toggling on or off this media button up here. Okay. So you're going to go down here to English. You're going to drop down that folder. You can see I've already been here. <laughs> uh, media Weekly Updated, 2001, Q3. Go down to 912. And we're actually I already have it open. See if I was just like nine five, it would show content from last week. But nine twelve, and that's huge. So let's make it a little bit smaller by using this, like kind of toggling this little round um, shutter ball thing here. Okay, so where did my finder window go? If you click on this finder icon here, it's gonna pop it back up. There's both windows. Now I'm just gonna highlight, click and drag a little box, invisible box, <laughs> over all these items. I'm going to drag them into ProBrazener and you'll see that I get this little blue line and I get that plus symbol. Drop them in. It drops them in. There they are. Now let's go ahead and load them into his notes. Um, if I, now I want to view his notes real quick to see where he wants to use them. So notes load in the preview app. You can see it's already open. It's got a little dot there representing that it's been turned on. If I click on it, it brings up the notes. Um, so he wants to use the Mount Everest clock tower image at the very beginning. So let's go to his message V2 presentation. And I am going to go ahead and load the Everest clock, the Everest clock tower, clock tower image here. Now I'm going to go over to my macro buttons. And I'm going to, whoa, something weird happened. Let me click back on my messages. There it goes. I'm going to go over and I'm going to add a macro to this. So it's really easy. You can add the um, sermon image graphic. 
I don't want you to be able to see the whole word. There we go. Sermon image graphic look template English. Make sure you're using the English, not the Spanish version. Okay. Let me click my message. There we go. All right. So I'm going to click and drag this sermon image graphic look template on top of that. And now you got an M, which represents a, uh, which represents that that macro has been applied to it. Um, if I click in my multi view view and I click on this image, you can see that I'm sending this out to my different um, screen locations, okay? This particular one's going out to our online audience just on the left side of their screen. That's our confidence monitor, we're behind the booth, and that's our main projector, okay? Let's bring back up his notes and see where he wants to do that aerial uh, Acuna update. That's what the rest of those slides were. Got a lot of scriptures this morning. Okay, so towards the end. Okay, so slide one, slide two. Okay, so he wants to use slide one and slide two, the preacher photo, uh, slide one and slide two at the end, and then the photos. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the end of his presentation, and I'm gonna use slide, this is slide one and slide two. You can see they were late, he labeled them for us. He's really good about that. I'm gonna pop them in there. And um, I'm actually going to add the same macro I added earlier to these two okay so that's been added and now he said he's gonna queue if I remember I will queue each photo when I get to pick four leave it up until I pray okay so um, he's labeled the the photos as well you can see he has this one labeled as 02, 03, 04 so let's put those in. I'm just going to actually drag each one in. So click and drag it in. Click and drag it in. Uh, whoa, sometimes that weird stuff happens. Click and drag it in. There we go. And I'm going to apply that same macro to each one so that it will trigger the correct looks to our different screens. All right, that's how, in a nutshell, you add images and graphics when they're present in the Dropbox folder for Sunday morning. If you have questions, let me know.